Hephaestus is an often overlooked god of Olympus. Being deformed after being dropped from Mount Olympus as a baby and now hunchbacked, no one could ever love him. A long time ago on Mount Olympus, he often fantasized about being in love. Aphrodite was supposed to marry him, but she was more interested in Ares. Every time Hephaestus tried to prove his love to her, he was rejected. Athena, seeing how depressed Hephaestus was, decided to give him a project to cheer him up. Athena went to Hephaestus' forge and asked him to make her some new armor that would look good in battle. Hephaestus immediately cheered up and he happily worked on it for days. As Hephaestus worked on his chest plate, his mind was obsessed with Athena and her beauty and wisdom. Athena went to check on his progress and she wanted to see if it fit. Athena took off her old armor and before she could see the new set, Hephaestus couldn't control himself and he ran at her and his excitement led to fluids falling onto Athena's leg. She was disgusted and wiped away the fluid onto the ground. Athena got dressed and started yelling at Hephaestus when something odd happened. Out of the ground came a baby. It was deformed like his father and Athena needed to do something about it. So she put the baby into a gold box covered in precious jewels. Someone had to look after the baby while she looked for someone to raise him. Athena went to the window of the castle of King Cecrops. King Cecrops had three daughters. Athena told the king and his daughters to never open the box until she comes back to get it. The two younger ones weren't paying attention to Athena's words, but rather marveling at the beauty of the box. The oldest and Cecrops promised to keep the box closed. Later that day, the two younger sisters came when no one was in the room and opened the box. Out of the box came a snake and bit both of them. The venom quickly rushed through their bodies and they had a vision of themselves running off the Acropolis and dying. When Athena returned, she saw the open box with the baby inside and took him back to Mount Olympus. Athena decided that the best way to handle the situation is to let Hephaestus raise his son. Erichthonius quickly learned everything from his father and started to invent something incredible. After days of work, Erichthonius created the chariot with four horses pulling it. Hephaestus liked this so much that he let his son ride through Greece and people started copying his design. When there were enough chariots made, they started a tournament in honor of Athena. This is what started the Olympics. Athena chose Erichthonius as the victor and he became the king of Athens. There was an army approaching, and he needed the skin of a goat to save him. Amalthea had a goat named Capella, who had two kids. Begging the goat's forgiveness, she killed and skinned the kids to protect her son. Athena made a cloak for him. She placed two snakes, the head of Medusa, and a, some magic of fear and power. She gave Erichthonius the cloak, as well as the two vials. One will heal the other will kill. Erichthonius got on his chariot and everyone in Athens followed him into battle. They marched to their enemy's palace and overthrew them. Erichthonius became the fourth king of Athens. Years of peace occurred until Poseidon became very angry at the people of Athens for not choosing him as the ruler of Athens. Many years previously, there was a contest between Poseidon and Athena for who should claim the city. Poseidon was the first, and he went to the Acropolis and struck a big rock. Out of it came a huge waterfall filled with salt water. It was magnificent, but wasn't very useful for drinking. Athena went to the Acropolis and planted an olive tree, which provided food and shade to Athens. King Cecrops chose Athena's gift over Poseidon's, and he has held that grudge ever since. Poseidon couldn't take it any longer, so he sent a tsunami at Athens. The walls of Athens survived. 
Poseidon gathered all the men he could to attack Athens. That night, King Erichthonius sent a messenger to go out to the Oracle at Delphi for advice. The messenger told Erichthonius that the only way to satisfy Poseidon is to sacrifice one of his daughters. Sadly, one of his daughters volunteered to save the city. When Erichthonius died, Hephaestus placed his son into the sky as Abraga the charioteer with the goat Capella and the Aegis along his side. And that is the story of Erichthonius. Thank you. And remember that science never sucks.